So, what is going on, YouTube? This is Sam from Team Sam Breaks on here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with my Ancient Gear deck profile for the February 5th, 2018 ban list. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. For those of you who have not yet joined the notification squad, make sure you guys click on the bell to get notified on each time I upload videos. So, whenever I upload new videos, you guys will always be the first one to see. So, make sure you guys click on that bell right next to the subscribe button for those of you who have not done it already. And if you guys want to see more new set deck profiles, I have the Pegasus deck profile coming up, guys. It's going to be lit. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing, guys. You guys always manage to smash that thumbs up button. I love you guys so much. So make sure you guys go down there right now and just smash that thumbs up button. By the way, guys, if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get your Dark Magician playmat today. I am bringing these back for a limited time only because of high demand. For those of you who want to get your Dark Magician playmat, make sure you guys get it in the description box below. I do free shipping to Canada and USA. International shipping may cost extra. So if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get your Dark Magician playmat today. I'll leave it in the box below. Guys, this deck has to be one of my favorite decks of all time. I actually grew up watching Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and when uh, Crawler, you know, brought out AG Gear Golem and then when it was him versus Jaden, it was one of the most epic battles in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX in my personal opinion. When Jaden first came to the academy and Crawler was like, nah man, I'm gonna bring out AG Gear Golem. It's a really nostalgic deck and you know what? I gotta pick out the deck, guys. AG Gear Golem has to be first edition LT from the last millennium. But anyways, uh, this deck is really cool, it's really amazing, it's really OCK heavy base. You're actually going to be trying to go second with this deck as much as you can. And if your opponent has no way to actually stop you in the battle phase while you bring out your big ancient gear monsters, if your opponent has no way to stop them, you're literally going to win the duel. Because Starting with the monster real quick, you're going to play of course the one ancient gear golem and the one new ancient gear golem ultimate pound. These are the only two Ancient Gear Golems that you're going to be playing in the deck. You guys don't know what Ancient Gear Golem does. This card cannot be special element. And when it attacks a defensive position monster, it inflicts piercing damage to your opponent. And if this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate any spell or trap cards until the end of the damage step. And the new Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound, his effect reads that it cannot be special element. Same thing as Ancient Gear Golem. And whenever it attacks a defense monster, it does the exact same thing as Ancient Gear Golem. And the thing that makes Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound different from Ancient Gear Golem is that when this attacking card destroys a monster by battle, you can discard one machine monster monster this card can attack again in a row so essentially it has a bls effect next off for all the boss monsters you'll play of course the double ancient gear reactor dragon basically if you tribute summon for this card using ancient gear monster whenever it attacks a defensive position monster it does piercing damage and the really good thing about this card is that when it attacks your opponent cannot activate spawn or trap cards until the end of the damage step and if this card attacks you can destroy one spawn trap card on the field which is really really good so not only does this card actually help get rid of problematic back rolls on your opponent's side of the field but this card can actually help you trigger off cards like ancient gear fortress and also trigger off cards like gear town which is really amazing so that's what's really good thing about this card is that this card can also trigger off your own cards and also destroy any problematic back rolls that your opponent controls and these cards are just really important to play in the deck as always because uh they're your fusion targets for your new fusion monster that i'll be showcasing you guys in the extra deck off to your starter cards when to play of course cards like triple agent gear wyvern this card is incredible in the deck this card essentially the straddles of the deck if this card is normal summon or special summon you can add one ancient gear card directly from the deck to your hand except for ancient gear wyvern and of course when this card attacks your opponent cannot activate spawn trap cards until the end of the damage step which is really amazing so triple ancient gear wyvern is one of the cards that you actually just want to start off with especially using your normal summon so triple wyvern really good card to actually help you start off your place next off for your new support you're going to play double ancient gear frame for those of you who are not know his effect his effect means that you can discard one card add one ancient gear golem or one spawn trap that's specific specifically list the card Ancient Gear Golem in its text from your deck to your hand. You're going to use the effect of Ancient Gear Frame once per turn. And its third effect, it doesn't really come up often, but if this card leaves the field by your opponent card effect, you can base your special up to three Ancient Gear Golem or Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound from your hand. So, but the first effect is just really important so that way you get access to Ancient Gear Fusion directly from the deck to your hand or get access to Ancient Gear Golem directly from the deck to your hand so that way that your fusions can always become live. Uh, so triple, uh, you know, so double Ancient Gear Frame. Next off, you're going to play, of course, Triple Ancient Gear Hunting Hound. You guys don't know what this card does. On summon, it deals 600 damage to your opponent. Uh, you activate its effect, Fusion Summon, using monsters in your hand or on the field to make your Fusion monsters. And last but not least, you want to play, of course, the one Ancient Gear Box. This card is really good. For those of you who don't know what its effect is that, if this card is added from the deck or graveyard to your hand, and you basically get to search the Ancient Gear frame directly from your deck. Ancient Gear Box, commonly off with cards like Ancient Gear Wyvern, is essentially a plus two. So what you can do is that you can normal summon Wyvern, activate Wyvern's effect, search the Gear Box, activate Gear Box effect, search, of course, the Ancient Gear 
into your frame. So with one card, you only added two cards directly from the deck to your hand. Uh, For the last monster you're playing in the deck is, of course, the Triple Kaiju, uh, the one Radiant, one Kamungus, and the one Gamma Seal, the Sea Turtle Kaiju. Kaijus are actually really important, especially in this deck, is because this deck is a going second deck. You guys know how powerful Ancient Gears are. They're a deck that relies on OTK. You know, I mean, the, the deck doesn't really have a lot of stun going first. The deck revolves around entering the battle phase. So Kaiju is just really good cards that actually help going second. You're playing an OTK based deck anyway, so you always want to go second. So I want to have cards that actually out problematic cards on the board, such as Vortex Dragon. In the deck, it's actually really important to play Kaiju Monsters that has less attack than Ancient Gear Golem, especially the Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound, is because like you want the Ultimate Pound to attack again. You obviously don't want to give your opponent a Jizakiro because your Golems can't run over that. This deck is just very flexible. You can play Kaiju, you can play Hand Traps, you can play whatever you guys want. Any cards that you guys think will benefit you going second, you guys can definitely go ahead and do that. But I decided for this specific version, I decided to actually main deck the Kaijus over the Hand Traps. But if you guys don't play Hand Traps, you guys can go ahead and do so. Next turn to play, of course, Triple Gear Town. Gear Town's effects reads that both players can normal summon Ancient Gear Monsters for one less tribute. So you can easily tribute for cards like Ancient Gear Golem or also tribute for cards like Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon, which is pretty awesome. When this card is destroyed, it's sent to the Graveyard. You can special summon one Ancient Gear Monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So this card can literally tutor out any Ancient Gear Monster directly from the deck. And the way to actually get to Gear Town is you want to play, of course, double terraforming. Okay, terraforming gets you access to Gear Town as quickly as possible. Because Gear Town, it's really important to see in your first opening hand, especially when you control no monsters, is because it combos off really well with Ancient Gear Catapult. You guys do not know what Catapult does, is that basically while you control no monsters, you target one face up card you control, destroy it. And if you do, special one Ancient Gear Monster from your deck, ignoring its summon conditions. Uh, so what you do is that you activate Ancient Gear Catapult. Pop the Gear Town. The Gear Town will trigger off. Ancient Gear Catapult will trigger off. Catapult will special summon, of course, the Ancient Gear Golem from the deck. And also, Gear Town will special summon a card like Ancient Gear Wyvern or Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon directly from the deck. And it's one of the cards that you just want to see in your first turn opening hand as quickly as possible. That's why you maximize yourself on playing three Ancient Gear Catapult because it's one of the best starter cards in the deck. Calmly off with cards like Gear Town and also calmly off with cards like Ancient Gear Fortress, in my personal opinion. And also, with the fact that the Glade Rod is pretty useful as well. You could target one face up card you control, destroy it. And if you do, you can special summon an H gear token, uh, which is really awesome as well. The really important thing about this card is that this card lets you destroy stuff. And the really good thing about Catapult is that Catapult can actually be searched off H gear Wyvern, which is pretty nice. So yeah. next off, we're gonna play, of course, Triple H gear Fortress. This card ensures that it protects your H gear monsters upon summon. So it guarantees you that your summon can actually go through without them being destroyed by card effects or targeted by card effects. And if this card is destroyed in the spell and trap cards, when you can special summon H gear monsters from your graveyard. And the new fusion spell card you wanna play in the deck is, of course, the new Shadal fusion of the deck ancient gear fusion fusion number one ancient gear fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or if you as fusion materials if you are using ancient gear golem or ancient gear golem ultimate pound you control as fusion materials you can also use monsters from your deck as material you just literally use materials from the deck so the really good thing about this card is that you can always use materials from the deck so that way that you don't have to rely on using materials uh, in your hand or also on the field as long as you're using the ancient gear golem or the ancient gear golem ultimate pound as a fusion material so uh the fusion is really nice you're gonna get access to the fusion with cards like wyvern and also cards like ancient gear frame directly from the deck to your hand because this card lists ancient gear golem or also ancient gear golem ultimate pound so frame can actually search this card directly from the deck to your hand for your OTK cards, you're playing, you were playing cards like Power Bond. Really good card. It's, it's another fusion card of the deck. Power Bond brings out your uh, fusion monsters and doubles it attack. Especially with the fusion monsters that does piercing damage, you bring it up Power Bond. You're just going to be more likely to win the duel. Last but not least, double Foolish Barrel Goods. Foolish Barrel Goods is in here uh, to actually uh, dump the catapult directly from the deck to the graveyard. You guys all know catapults that like, banish it to pop a card in the field, especially them in a token. So getting access to catapult as quickly as you can to pop out your ancient gear fortress and also gear town is really essential. So it's really important to actually either see this card or the catapult in your hand for First turn uh, with Gear Town as quickly as possible, so that way you can trigger off their effects. And last but not least, for your power spells, uh, the one limited removal, uh, one monster reborn, really awesome. Interrupting Kaiju Slumber, you're playing three Kaijus in the deck. Slumber is just really important. And last but not least, you're playing the double. Just really important. You guys all know that I love Potter's Eyes in the deck. This deck is like you just want to see your pieces in your hand as quickly as possible, so that way that you can have access to your fusion monsters, especially with the Hunting Hound on the board, so that way you can fusion the monsters in your hand. So Potter's Eyes literally just helps you dig deeper into your deck to see the combo pieces you need especially going second you want to see the catapult and the gear tongue combo as quickly as you can so part of desire is actually help dig through your deck for those combo pieces as quickly as possible so next off for our trap guys i'm playing cards that evenly match evenly match is absolutely amazing you guys do not have to play this card uh, whatsoever you guys do not have to you guys don't if you guys don't have the budget to play this card you guys can actually substitute this card out for cards like you know dark hole i'm like whenever i build decks i try to build decks as competitive as possible and this card is just really powerful against today's metagame uh to actually help you get rid of 
your problematic board. So playing evenly matched is definitely crucial for any going second base deck in my personal opinion. But if you guys don't have the budget for it, it's okay. Guys will play cards like Twin Twin, Sir Dark, Hori, Geki. Any card that has a lower budget than evenly matched, it's all up to personal preference of what you guys want to play in your own deck. But for the extra deck, Chaos Ancient Gear Giant. This card literally helps OTK your opponent. Must be featured summon, cannot be special summoned by other ways. Unaffected by spawn trap card effects. Your opponent monsters cannot activate their effects during the battle phase. This card is just like Ultimate Connect Triangle because it can attack each and every single one of the monsters on your opponent's board. And whenever it attacks a defense position of your monster, it does piercing damage, which is really awesome. So, card you can actually OTK your opponent fairly easily with cards like Chaos Giant. The new card, Ancient Gear Megaton Golem. It requires three Ancient Gear monsters. If this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate spawn trap cards until the end of the damage step. If this card was featured summoned using two or more Ancient Gear Golems and or Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound as a material, it can attack up to that many times during each battle phase. So if you use two Ancient Gear Golems, you can attack twice, which is really amazing. Especially combo lab with limited removal and also power bond to bring out this card. It's just really, really strong. If this facial fusion summon card is in its owner control, leaves the field because of your opponent card effect. You can special summon one ultimate Ancient Gear Golem from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning condition. So this card can tour out this ultimate Ancient Gear Golem directly from the extra deck. You know, your uh, it inflicts piercing damage. Your opponent cannot activate spawn trap cards until the end of the damage step. And this card is destroyed. You can target one Ancient Gear Golem in your graveyard and special summon it, ignoring its summoning condition. So these cards literally tag out each other. So this card tags out this. And when the card dies, you can special summon Ancient Golem from the graveyard, which is pretty amazing. So the ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. And last but not least, double Ancient Gear uh, Howitzer. You know what I mean? This card you can easily make with the uh, Hunting Hound and another Ancient Gear Monster. It's unaffected by other card effects. And you can deal a thousand damage to your opponent. And if this card dies, you can special summon an Ancient Gear monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning condition, and that's how you can tutor out Ancient Gear Golem. But guys, through testing, you rarely make rank 4 XYZ. You're just going to be OTKing your opponent, and I rarely make any rank 4s, but these are just in here just in case. Uh, Tornado Dragon, uh, the Castell, Diamond Dire Wolf, uh, the Abyss Dweller, Gear Gagan X. You can search your Wyvern directly from the deck to your hand, uh, and Utopia. And last but not least, the Utopia Lightning, you know, to partner off with Utopia. And then for our two. Uh, Link Monsters, the Underclock Taker. The card's really good, combo off with the Ultimate Pound. And last but not least, uh, the Mrs. Radiant. So that's pretty much for the extra deck, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing. Let me know what you guys think about this Ancient Gear deck uh, in the comment section below. This deck is actually a very fun deck to actually, uh, you know, play with. You can easily OTK your opponent with cards like Ancient Gear Megaton Golem and also Ancient uh, Gear Giant, which is really amazing. And you also have cards like Power Bond, Ancient Gear Fusion. I believe that with the release of cards like the Ancient Gear Fusion, this deck uh, has become a little bit better. It, uh, it became a, a little bit more accessible and also a little bit more consistent with cards like Ancient Gear uh, Fusion to actually tour out your fusion monsters as quickly as possible. So Ancient Gear Fusion is actually pretty nice. And you guys all know the standard comp with Gear Town and also the Catapult, which is really successful as well. So that's pretty much for the deck profile, guys. And let me know what you guys think about this deck in the comment section below. The Pegasus deck profile is coming up, so make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. That'll be amazing. And it's is Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. Alright, guys. Peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. The game, Shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got the deed with it. These bozos always.